Okay, so this is a quick video showing how we can apply color coding to a SharePoint list based on a date field within the SharePoint list. So by way of example, uh, we have a very simple uh, to-do list shown here in SharePoint. Uh, we can see a set of tasks. Uh, we can see the date that those tasks are due and the, ta the people to whom these tasks are assigned. What we want to do here is to color code the rows in this little to-do list so that if any tasks are overdue, they go red. Uh, if they are due within the next 30 days, they should be highlighted in yellow. And if they are uh, due 30 days or more away, just show them as green. Okay, so how do we do that? Well, we use the SharePoint uh, view formatting screen. Okay, and the way to access that is in SharePoint. Go to the view in question that you're going to use. So here, all items. Okay, click on the drop down arrow to the right here and click on this option to format current view. Now, format current view, what that will do is show you some very simple formatting options. So, for example, you can use alternating row styles, for example, which uh, gives you this kind of effect. Uh, you can apply conditional formatting, which does work, but only works for very simple examples. Uh, it doesn't work for uh, date comparisons. So, what we want to do is actually use this option here at the bottom called advanced mode. Now, uh, when I go into advanced mode like this, you will see it will potentially contain some code here already okay now i'm not going to go through the ins and outs of how to construct this code okay there is some code already on the blog post associated with this video just copy and paste that code and bring it across into this little window i'll explain what the code does so i've already copied the code from the blog post uh, and pasted it in here what is this actually doing well uh the the uh, json code that you can see here what it's doing uh, is uh, formatting the rows based on this formula, okay? What it's doing is it's looking at the due date column, okay, which is this one. Notice that we're referencing the due date here. It's, uh, we're using the internal name of the SharePoint column. So it's due date with no space. Uh, so use the internal name of the column. Uh, and what we're doing is we are looking for any due dates which are greater than or equal to now plus this big long number. What's this big long number? That's actually 30 days in milliseconds. That's the way SharePoint works in this area. It's slightly weird, but you can use Google or you can use ChatGPT or something like that to work out how many milliseconds are on your, your preferred period of time. So what we're just saying here, we're telling SharePoint, look, if the due date is greater than or equal to today plus uh, this number of milliseconds, which is 30 days, then use this color class, okay? So uh, SP field severity good means green, okay? Otherwise, you can see here, it follows this slot path, this slot path of uh, logic path uh, in the if statement. If the due date is greater than or equal to today, okay? So in other words, between now and 30 days from now, then it will use this SharePoint color code, which is uh, SP field severity warning, which is yellow. And then if, uh, for any other circumstance, in other words, for any due dates which, which are actually in the past, uh, then it defaults to this option, which is uh, SP field severity blocked, which translates to red. Okay, so that's all it's doing. Okay, and if you need to tweak or change uh, your view to reflect this, obviously you can adjust this uh, logic uh, within the, the format view code here. Once you've got the code in place, click on preview. And hey presto, there you can see what it's doing. It's effectively color coding now the entire row based on the due date. So any due dates within the next 30 days are shown in yellow. Any due dates which are more than 30 days away, such as these ones, these are shown in green. And any due dates which are in the past, so today's date is the 16th of October, 2024, uh, anything which is in the past is then highlighted in red. And of course, you can tweak this as you see fit. Um, once you're happy with this JSON, all you do is simply click on save, close down this little window, and that's it. Your view uh, format is now applied, and as time moves on and as dates change and so on, these uh, color codes will be dynamically updated. Don't forget, if you have multiple views uh, within your SharePoint list, uh, then you'll need to re reapply these steps for each of those SharePoint views. So slightly tacky, but easy enough when you know how.